Good morning. Getting ready for roll racing in Utah, which is an absolutely fun sport over at uh, UMR. And um, we're going to take the SRT4 big turbo car and obviously the Ram 408 with a Pro Charger on it. So the thing is with the Pro Charger, there's a couple of things um, concerning belt slip that people have all dealt with, bending the adjusting bracket, all that stuff, and still never able to get the boost level they want without slippage. So, or without tight, tightening the belt so tight that it busts. So anyway, um, here, there's a couple of things I'm going to point out here. Number one, the intercooler they send with with the uh, Pro Charger kit. It's pretty small, so I'm going to change it out. And um, the other thing is I've got a smaller pulley. So this is a three three quarter, 340 inch pulley. Um, you can see I sandblasted it for grip. Um, but I'm not going to use that. Second thing I did is I added another factory tensioner here and then off of a beamer I went to a smaller ten tensioner here which is loose because I'm taking it off but anyway um, I run a smaller tensioner here and then I run this extra tensioner here which gives me over well close to three quarters wrap around the, the pulley with the uh, supercharger whereas compared to before without it you only get half the wrap on the pulley so and as everybody knows these are not the easiest damn things to turn like a vortex being gear driven like this but so anyway so adding that spare dodge bracket and then order the wide 93 millimeter version so the belt doesn't walk and then also i made an adjustable bushing on the back that i can move and change the angle for my tracking so so i also machined me out a bushing with a brooch it's going to go in place for the new pulley. Kind of hard to do this with a phone. And then my new pulley is going on in place, which you can see for this setup. So anyway, um, so that's what I do for my tensioning mods. Try to keep the belt runs as short as possible, like from here to the crank, you know, Keep that short. Um, maybe even later on if I have issues with it, more belt slip from before. But if I have belt slip from here, I can go ahead and do a couple more things. I sandblasted the crank pulley down below and sandblasted this pulley up here. And uh, you can run a Gates RPM belt um, and then use the factory tensioner here. Um, but I don't use the rod to adjust it as much. I actually put a pry bar on the back pull it back where i want till the marks underneath line up there's there's two marks you got to go right in between on the center of it so you can be to the left or the right of it but you want to be in the center of those marks not outside of those marks and that's on the very bottom of this pro charger tensioner so anyway so there you go and for those guys running v10 radiators and can't figure out how to get their their intercooler through there um, you can see the, the driver's side has plenty of room over there. Passenger side got pretty damn tight. Still made it, but I did have to cut out some of my inner fender right here to make clearance for clearance. Yep. <laughs> so anyway, so that's where that's at. So if you guys are going to UMR, I'll see you guys out there. Have fun.